Hey everybody, I am Dwayne Johnson and this is what it takes for Sport Bible. So what's happening in that photo? Not only did I play for a college football team, at that time I played for the best college football team in the country, University of Miami, the Hurricanes. So we were national champions and the number one goal was to play in the NFL, the National Football League, pro football, and that did not happen for me. Um, and um, I, it was, that was hard. It was hard, that was a hard uh, kick in the gut because I'd worked for years and years and years to make it to the NFL. I didn't, uh, my friends around me were making it and they were becoming millionaires and buying their parents' houses, all the dreams that we all had and they were living the dreams that we had and, and I was not. I was actually living a nightmare. Uh, I fell into depression at that time. And what it took to get out of that was time and uh, self-empathy, like, uh, you know, um, being good to myself and, and recognizing that life goes on. And this was not the path for me as much as I wanted it to be the path, as much as I felt like I was... Um, uh, doing everything I could to make sure that that happened just didn't happen and it wasn't for me and that wasn't the life or the path for me and then I picked myself back up and put in the work with my own two hands and created another path oh wow <laughs> so what is happening in this photo um, is this was the other path uh, that I felt was for me and this is my debut in the WWE and not only was it my debut my very first match in the WWE but I was debuting at one of their major pay-per-views <laughs> of the year so you talk about baptism by fire um, this was me as Rocky Maivia and Rocky Maivia was a name that honored both my grandfather and my father both who are WWE legends and Hall of Famers and um, that is also me uh, with a terrible f haircut. <laughs> what it took to become the number one wrestler in the company and arguably the number one wrestler in the world um, was a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, a lot of focus, and a lot of continuous context. And what I mean by that is it, it just required me at that time. I was flying by the seat of my pants. I became the number one wrestler in the WWE by the time I was 26 or 27 years old, which was an incredible amount of pressure and responsibility. But what I mean by constant context is I constantly had to check uh, myself and make sure that I was approaching everything at that time knowing that as hard as wrestling is physically, and as demanding as it is physically and emotionally and mentally, it's still fiction. And when I lose, I'm letting other guys beat me, and when I'm winning, I'm really not beating anyone, and they're letting me beat them. And that's the kind of context that you have to keep in your mind, because otherwise, in that world of pro wrestling, um, the ego can really go out of control, and you lose context, you lose perspective, and then you don't become the biggest draw uh, the company has ever seen. What does it take to become the biggest movie star in the world? So what it takes to become the... Uh, uh, <laughs> a, um, uh, how do I want to say this? Uh, let me see. Uh, all right, so, well, looking at this picture, what it takes to become um, a... Um, We'll just say a bankable actor. <laughs> um, you guys could say biggest movies are in the world. Uh, it uh, it takes again hard work and it takes perseverance and again it just takes context and it takes perspective, um, especially when you get into this world of Hollywood and the business of Hollywood because. It is so demanding and it's incredibly difficult. Yes, being in the ring is incredibly difficult, but the scope of audience and world that you now entertain and are responsible for in movies uh, is global. And um, 
this is why it requires a consistent and very constant daily hard work. And also very, very important is um, trust your gut and trust your instincts on what the audience will really enjoy and love. And that's really the most important thing. Oh God. Yeah. So the first time I saw this photo, I was in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and um, it was about five o'clock in the morning and um, I was getting ready to go to the gym before I headed to the set of shooting Jumanji. And uh, I woke up to this photo, seeing this photo for the very first time. And there, at this point in my life, there are very few times in my life where I'm completely blown back on my ass when I see something and completely moved, um, maybe even a little emotional. But when I saw this, it was just, um, it was a reflection of, uh, of again, hard work and, um, but also just this bigger idea that I never in my life would have ever imagined um, to be on the cover of Time Magazine as, you know, pretty influential guy. So I would say the most important things that made this whole thing happen from where I started to this right here would be two things. It would be hard work and always putting the audience first and how important that is. I did that in wrestling, even when I was wrestling in front of 50 people in barns and flea markets and used car dealerships. Did that uh, in movies and certainly now, Covered Time Magazine is crazy, uh, but certainly do that now is work hard and always, always, always put the audience first because ultimately at the end of the day, it's the audience that will drive the entire journey because it's always about them. I'm Dwayne Johnson, and this is what it takes.